Well, we got the big boots out today, the tall boots. I wore my short boots on the last creek fishing mission that we went on and ended up filling them full of water because I had to get out and pull the kayak over some stuff that was just a little too deep. And so we're going knee highs today to make sure that that doesn't happen. And I'm probably going to go invest in myself a pair of good waders so that I can go do these creek fishing missions and not have to worry about getting in water really up to my chest. But today we're going on creek fishing mission number two. So again, this is a series of videos that I'm going out and I'm fishing locally and I'm fishing affordably. I got the kayak loaded up. I got two rods, two reels, a bag full of baits, and we're going to fish places that we're like really close to the house. This place we're going today is within, I think like four or five minutes of the house. It's another creek that I've never fished before, but I've drove by a thousand times. And just thought I need to go fish that. And so this series of videos is just a way to kind of look at fishing in a different way, in an affordable way and in a fun way and in a local way, because I don't know about you guys, but I've noticed things have got a little bit more expensive, whether it's gas groceries, whatever it is, things are just more expensive. And I just want to show that you can still go have fun and do the things that you love like fishing but in a very affordable and local way and so that's what we're going to do today i'm glad you clicked on this video hopefully you guys will enjoy this and without further ado i'm gonna shut up we're gonna get the kayak down the creek and we'll see what we can get done All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, here we are. We have made it to the creek. Again, very close to my house. I really don't know anything about it other than its proximity to my house. I mean, I've drove by this creek thousands of times in my life and have never stopped here and never fished. But I have heard rumor that there are fish in here and that they're, uh, they're willing to eat and so we're gonna fish today and we're gonna see what we can get done. I'm gonna start with the buzz bait again today. The other creek fish uh, ate it like they had never seen anything quite like it. And honestly, I don't think they ever had. And so I think that's what makes the buzz bait as effective as it is, is the fact that they just never seen anything quite like that. And they eat it with total disregard because it's something brand new to them. But yeah, we're gonna get after it. We're gonna see what we can get done. I already seeing some bait fish. So that is a good sign. That means there's food. And if there's food, it normally means there's predatory fish that want to eat that food. So yeah, I'm excited about this one. It's a little bit shallower, a little bit clearer. Not as much cover as the other creek, but that don't mean anything. It does not mean anything. All right, guys. Well, here's obstacle number one, and we're not even 100 feet into this thing. That's a freaking big one, too. I mean, that's just a damn mess, is all that is. Looks like two different trees have fallen over each other. So, uh... Yeah. I got to figure this one out. I'm not too sure. I guess I'll just have to go get out right there. I guess go straight up. Yes. Hi. Hey, this is a cluster. It looks like it opens up pretty good right down there. I can't tell how many jams there are though. Yeah, it looks like there's jams at a freaking 10 feet. That's gonna be a hell of a drag for the old kayak, but be yeah. all right. Oh no, it's pretty open down through there. All right. Huh? Alright, I'll let you. Bye. 
Okay. We're in. Hi. There it was. Followed it right to the right up there. I followed it again. There he is. There he was. Ha <laughs> ha! There he is. I got him at Tom. Get in here. <laughs> thing hit a freaking spinnerbait three times. I finally got my net rig. Another spotted bass. But who knew that the creeks around me were so full of Kentucky spotted bass? It's awesome. All right, there's fish number one of the trip. Get here, bud. Well, guys, I threw the buzz bait in there three times, had three different blow ups, and uh, finally threw the old net rig down in there. We got another one, they're stacked up right here. Come here, bud. Heck yeah. Little bitty, but fun. Heck yeah, that's probably why they weren't getting that buzz bait. This little. All right, guys. Well, log jam number three for the trip. This one is, uh, this trip's a little tough just because of all the junk piled up in here. I think it's just where this creek is so tight. Kind of lends itself to stuff piling up. So uh, on the back side of the last log jam, though, we caught two fish, three fish, two fish and uh, had several bites so we're gonna pull over this one dump back down in and then uh, fish the back side of this one so this camera has stopped working i don't really know why so you're on this camera for right now until i can get this thing to start working <laughs> getting annoying. Nope. 
heck yeah. <laughs> there you go, guys. What a bite. I kind of figured there'd be one sitting down along that, a little bit deeper here. That's where these fish are going to want to live. Heck yeah. Yeah, everybody. Thank you, man. That's because what you got to realize is. Where are you? Hey there, buddy. Little. Hey, buddy. Little man. Oh, man. He stroked that freaking buzz bait. There we go. He's a little dude, but he's a good one. Good man. There you go. Awesome sauce. Get out here, buddy. Thank you. What are you doing? Yeah, that's what I'll do later. That's what I'll do later. I'll show you how it works. I'll show you how it works. It's actually really nice. I mean, I get how you come in on it. And you can pull yourself. Okay. I get how you get it there to get it. Whoa! Don't do it. 10 out of 10 would definitely never ever recommend that. I'm freaking exhausted. <laughs> But we're finished and I'm done and I have fun. Again, caught them all on the buzz bait. Seven foot medium HMG fast action rod, 40 pound braid to 17 pound leader. I had fun. It was a good time. I love the exploration. I mean, this is something I've always wanted to do. It's something that I've never seen before. And so I got to see it. But yeah, guys, we're going to end it right here. I appreciate you guys clicking on this video, watching. I really, really do. I know that you guys are taking time out of your busy day, your busy week to come watch these videos. And I really do appreciate it. But uh, yeah. As always, you guys are sweet. Thank you for watching.